welcome back to Nana Obi channel. Today with this tutorial we're gonna make together this beautiful neck warmer. It's closer from the back. This is the length and then you can wear like that. So I want to show you something before we start it. Okay. So you have to measure your neck from here to here and this is going to be this length and then from here to here is going to be the design and the design after you measure your neck you put the chain and after the, you make the chain long enough for your neck you have to add 15 chain and then uh, for this this project I'm using my favorite yarn which is ice yarn it's um, 50 milligram 150 meter and then it's 80% wool and 20% acrylic in a brown shade and I leave you all the information in the box below in case you are interested. So that's what I have left from one ball. So I make the neck warmer and this is what I have left. So then you need a whole crochet hook, 4.5 millimeter, 4 millimeter, a scissor, a yarn needle, and couple stitch marker. So if you have, uh, if you're ready to have uh, everything, so let's go start and make this beautiful neck warmer. Okay, I started my making my channel, my chain for my neck warmer, and then my uh, my uh, measure is uh, 25 chain for my neck. Plus I have to add 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. When you have it, you chain, you have to count it a chain from and from the hand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you put a stitch marker here. Then we do a chain three, I mean, yarn over, skip a three chain, one, two, three, and the four chain from the hook, you make a double crochet. And then you make a all double crochet in you reach the stitch marker double crochet all over like that into the stitch marker so continue like that and I meet you here so I'm almost there to the stitch marker my last double crochet, take my stitch marker and then make a five chain. One, two, three, four and five. And here in the last chain here you are gonna yarn over, go inside the last chain, we make a double crochet. And then chain three, one, two, three, in the same stitch, another double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, again in the same stitch, another double crochet. Chain three, 
one, two, three, in the same stitch, another double crochet. So you're gonna have a full double crochet, separated with three chain, each one double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Chain one, turn your work, and now we're going to work inside the this space. And then we're going to do single crochet, half a double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, yarn over two times, pull through, two, two, and two, and then again double crochet, half a double crochet, a single crochet, and then we're gonna repeat in the next two space. So again, single crochet, half a double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, one, two, and three, double crochet, half a double crochet, single crochet, and you're gonna do it again to the last one. Single, Elf, double, triple, and then again, double, half double, a single crochet. Now, chain five, one, two, three. Four and five. So if we have the chain here for the previous row. You count it from the last double crochet, you have to count it three chain. So it's a one, one, two, and three. And the third, you hook here in the third chain here from the for the first double crochet, you do a double crochet. One, two, and three. And then you do your regular double crochet in the top of the, the previous row. So continue like that and I'll meet you here. I'm almost at the end of the row. I'm going to do my double crochet here and my last one in the third chain from the hook, uh, from the previous row. Chain three, one, two, three, the count like uh, first double crochet and the next double crochet. Now, I suggest you for the first couple time to put a stitch marker to where you have to stop. So this is the last double crochet. You count one, two, three, and you put a stitch marker in the third chain after the last double crochet. So when you work, you know exactly where you have to stop. Okay? So continue working um, double crochet until you reach the stitch marker. Okay, I'm in a chain here, so I'm gonna do it. One, two, take off your stitch marker, because we have to put the double crochet in the stitch marker. And three. Now, chain five, 
one, two, three, four, and five. And then see that the three petals that we have here? We're gonna do a double crochet in the top of the three row. And you know what it what it is because it's the you know the high one. So see you can see very easily. So right here put your can tie and do double crochet. Then chain three, one, two, and three, and then the same space, another double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, another double crochet here. Chain three, one, two, and three, another double crochet. Don't forget that you have to have always four double crochet separated by chain three. So chain one, turn your work, and then again we're gonna work inside this little flower. Okay, so single crochet again, half a double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet. Double, half double, single, and then you're gonna work for the next to the two petal that you have here, like you did here. Okay, so finish your two petal, and then I meet you here. Okay, after you finish to work inside the petal here, again chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then again in the third chain from the last double crochet, you count one, two, and three. And here you put your double crochet. One, two, three, And three, and then you work your double crochet. To the end, this row. Okay, so continue like that, and then I meet you here. I'm in the end of the row. I'm gonna do my last double crochet here. Now every time we go back in, to, the, to the direction of the flower, we always put a stitch marker in the third chain all the time so you never be lost or confused. So every time you have to go back, like turn your work like that, if you have to do double crochet into here, put stitch marker in the third chain, one, two, and three so you know where you have to stop. Okay, so we are here, chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work, and then again, double crochet into the stitch marker. <clears throat> Okay, so continue like that. Let me do the stitch marker. I'm in the last double crochet, and then I'm gonna work it now in the chain one, two, take out your stitch marker. And three, and then again chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then you're gonna go here in the top of the double, the treble crochet. You do double crochet one, chain three, one, two, 
entry again double crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 double crochet Double crochet. Here you have four double crochet separated with chain three. Chain one to new work, and then again single crochet, half a double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet. Double, half, and single. Continue like that to fill it up this petal. Okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, finish the fill it up in my flower and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then again in the third chain from the previous row we count a one, two, three and then we put double crochet here in the third one two and three and then we continue to put double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row. Okay. Oops. Continue working like that and meet you at the end of the row. Now we complete we complete the that partner. So in other words that doesn't mean that the uh it's gonna be a repetition. So it's gonna be one, two, three flower and then we're gonna start it again like we start here. So it's a repetition uh, of this partner. So uh, I'll show you how you have to do now and then after this, it's like I say, it's a repetition. You make up big how much you want um, for your neck warmer, or if you want to make a, <clears throat> a scarf, you keep working. And then uh, <clears throat> let's see what you have to do now. So, before we start it, <clears throat> sorry for my voice today, I don't know what happened. So we have to put the um, stitch marker. We have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. In the fifteen chain, you have to put stitch marker here. And then also you need another stitch marker. Then you have to put in the four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. You're gonna understand why we're gonna put this one stitch marker here. So now to new work, two double crochet into the stitch marker, and then I'll show you what you have to do next. Okay, take them out the stitch marker. The last double crochet here and then chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go here to the next stitch marker. Yarn over, and where is the stitch marker? We're going to put a double crochet here. Come out the stitch marker and the same space here. Chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna recreate 
this pattern here. I'll show you in a bit. In the same stitch, another double crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, another double crochet in the same stitch, one, two, and three, the last one. Now pay attention here. Take them out the, the hook for the loop, turn your work like that and then see here we have the three double crochet, the first chain here, pull your hook, take the loop here, this one, pull through and then make a light slip stitch and then we connect the flower and then you work it again single crochet half a double crochet double crochet triple crochet double half a single Finish it to fill it up your petal here and then I'll tell you what you have to do next. So we have all this long chain here. So we're gonna make a five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we count like we did for all this part. It doesn't change. We count it third chain from the last double crochet here so it's one two and three and here you put double crochet one two and three and you keep working you regular double crochet all to the end of the, this row and then if I show you we start to recreate the first one see and then we want to work the same way like we did here until we reach three flower when you reach the three flower you have to do what do we have to do in here if you can remember Put it back in the video and when you reach the seventh row that's the mean that you have to change again uh, one two three four five six seven at the seventh row you have to put stitch marker you have to count 15 crochet uh, 50 double crochet put a stitch marker and then put uh, four double crochet after four double crochet a stitch marker and this is a repetition but uh, let me work another uh, couple flower and then we're gonna do together again the separation okay I finished uh, the other three set on my flower here and now I'm gonna show you again what you have to do before you start it again with the three flower before you start the new pattern so you count from here 15 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 15 and you put stitch marker here now with a lot of stitch marker you count four one two three and four and you put stitch marker here now to new work this is gonna happen every six row the seven the seventh row it's what we're gonna start again the three flower so chain three one two and three and then you do 
all double crochet until you reach the stitch marker here okay I'm here in the stitch marker and then you have to do seven chain one two three four five six seven then you go straight to the next stitch marker and then you do double crochet here chain three one two and three another double crochet here one two and three another double crochet one two three the last one you can take them out the stitch marker you don't need them anymore now and now you are at this point right like that take the book off from the loop turn your work like that and here in the first chain after the last double crochet put your hook pull the loop here make a slip stitch and then you are ready to work inside the flower again with single crochet half a double crochet double crochet triple crochet double half and single and then it's gonna be the same when you finish the last petal you make a chain 5 and then go here count 1, 2 and 3 in the third chain before the double crochet you start it again you all double crochet and then you do back and forth back and forth like we did here okay so this is pretty much how they work uh, I hope I was clear to explain to you um, I'm gonna finish mine and then I'm gonna tell you a menu row I did and uh, what it look like okay so continue working and I'll see you later I finished crochet all my uh, neck warmer and then I make a one two three four five five sequence of the, this partner with the flower and then it's uh, 30 rows of double crochet now the you have to uh, measure uh, from your neck from your chin down to your neck and put a stitch marker because this is going to be the piece that we're going to close so go ahead uh, measure your neck long how much you want it and then uh, I'll see you there and I'll show you how, you, how to sew it okay okay cut the yarn a little bit longer because we have to sew this piece not that long but a little bit and then close it here with a chain yarn and needle Take this part, 
in this part and then you're gonna go through here and then go back again here just to make a sure this nice and tight just like that okay and then we're gonna start sewing and I'll show you how okay see this is the chain in the top here we have to uh, take just the first one no both one just this one the first this is the all stitches we have to uh, take just this one the first one and then here and then from here you go back here and pick up this one the next one and the next one from the back to the front from the back to from the front to the back back and front back and front back front back and front <laughs> see just like that see show you how it look like you don't see even the no so continue doing like that and then I meet you at the end here so I am at the hand like I like not here and then go inside the stitches here to loosen the hands One more time. And then it should be good. Cut the yarn. And this is what it should look like. And then I'm gonna put it on for you so you're gonna see how it look like when you put it on okay so for now it's a to what it is so open the back okay so tie hold your hand and then I'll see you later and I'll show you what it look like in person this is the neck warmer that we just make what it look like when you are done it's open the back and all the work is gonna be in the front this is I put it on like that and then if you see close one size is a different from the other one see here the difference that's because you can wear in any way in any um, way uh, you can wear like that you can wear short part like that and then this in the back or you can wear all in the front like that 
So this is what it looks like. I wear it to show you what it looks like in person. I think it's coming very nice. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you make it, please send me a picture. Let me see your work. And then if you need I mean, any answer, if you have any question about this tutorial, uh, leave me a comment and then I try to explain to you uh, better. Okay, thank you.